Check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. So, I was actually recording some background clips, just to go in the background of some video where I talk, but I ended up getting some really good clips, and I actually trick-stabbed the same guy in these clips three times in about two minutes, and eventually, of course, he turns pyro. I think that's, in some way, the ultimate compliment as a spy, for someone to just get so bothered and give up, essentially, and go pyro just to get you. But first, I can see some heavy bullets coming out from behind this rock, so I want to try and get out of his view, which is where I jumped to here. Note the demo man that walks past. Because I was out of the view, the heavy either forgets or didn't notice me, and I can get an easy stab here. The demo walking the other way, stank of a spy to me, so I go back and check, and it was a spy. Sorted. I'm in a worse position than this guy, so rather than fight him, I just try and get out of there. Check the tunnel, that's not too safe either, so I go the only other way I can think of. Fortunately, this isn't great, but there's quite a few bits of ammo on the floor, other people's weapons, so I'm trying to refill my dead ringer as soon as possible. I see this spy coming around the corner, so I go for a trick stab. I must have mistimed it a little bit because it doesn't work, so when it's clear there's no other options, I pull up my dead ringer, start to back away. I notice that this one guy's following me, so I think, you know, let's go for a strafe and snap. But what I don't realise is then I bump into somebody else, so that absolutely isn't going to happen. I try and run away. Fortunately, I can only see one guy who's close enough to me, and he's clearly determined on running straight forward, so I can get a really easy stab on him here. This spy's much more focused on the medic than on me, so I can get the stab on him really easily. Not a lot more happens in this life, so let's fast forward to where stuff does start happening. So here's where we first stab that guy, Mr. Deluxe. So what you'll see is what looks like a face stab initially. It just runs right at me and he's dead all of a sudden. But if we slow this down, what it actually looks like to me is that he didn't notice me, or rather he didn't react to me being a spy. So he's just coming around this corner as if he would, as if his teammate was coming next to him. And because of that, he's presented his back to me. And all I've got to do is turn very slightly to the right and I get a backstab based on the sort of 180 degree backstab radius that Valve have implemented. So if we just fast forward a little bit further in this life, I'm about to see a standing still engineer, so I think, great, easy kill. I go for that, but this medic comes around the corner, and it's clear that he's seen me. He turns towards me, starts moving towards me. So I've got two options. I can either feign and try and get away, or I can go for a trick stab. I go for the latter, and it works out really well. The sniper does get me Gerati's, but I do manage to get away. We we'll just pick things up early in the next round. And there's a sentry on low health here, so even though there's loads of NGs around, I do sap it just in case it's low enough health that it will die before they can heal it. Fortunately, that's not the case. And you'll see here I slide down this wall, and this is actually done on purpose, because if I fell straight off here, I'd take fall damage. But because I slide down the wall, technically the game doesn't think that I've fallen a distance, so I don't take any fall damage. We're about to run into our friend, Mr. Deluxe, again. This is a fairly simple trick stab to do, but you just slightly move one way, and then you strafe back the other way. Basically, you move one way so the player turns their body that way, and then when you go the other way, their body's turned away from you, and then you can just turn very slightly with your mouse and get an easy stab on them there. From this point, I just want to sort of survey the area, look to see if there's any enemies, any way that I can help my team in any way that they couldn't help themselves. I see this heavy who's about to go down the tunnel. So I gotta follow him and he turns around. There's no way I'm gonna win that on a one-on-one. -on -one. So I pull out my dead ringer, I pick up the ammo to make sure I can stay cloaked for as long as possible. There's quite a lot of reds around here and I don't wanna uncloak anywhere near them. So I keep my distance. I'm fairly confident I would've uncloaked right here out of earshot, but the pyro does come around the corner and looking for me. There's not really much I could've done in this instance and he does get me and <laughs> it's mr deluxe so that pretty much wraps up this video guys i hope you enjoyed it it's just a short one a little bit of fun we had getting a few trick stabs on one guy until he went pyro but that's what it's all about thanks for watching everyone